Hello everybody. I know that it's been a little while the, since I've posted. I'm sorry about that, but today I wanted to touch on growth mindset. Growth mindset. So many people think that growth is something that we just do. We get taller, we get bigger, we can do all kinds of things to grow, right? Well, what about our mind? What it is that we have inside of this mind that can literally create a whole new world for ourselves and the world around us. People can grow in their minds. We grow every single day. You watching this video is actually making you grow. So I want to know, I want to touch on that topic, growth mindset. What exactly is that? Well, it's the thought that we can grow, that we can evolve from where we are right now to a future of maybe we don't even know. Our universe can literally create more than we can even imagine, right? Uh, back when they created airplanes, those guys got laughed out of towns, like literally. And all they had was the thought, the idea, the imagination that they could actually grow past. Maybe they even thought, I can grow wings. And they did. They literally grew the wings that I got to fly on just the other day. And as I was looking out of the window uh, when I was going to a healer's retreat, I sat there and I just looked at the ground below me and I was like, wow. Someone created this. They believed in themselves so strongly that they said, I am going to fly. Or I am going to build a building that can touch the sky. Growth. The mindset of being able to know that we can grow past who we are today and go into someone else every single day. The growth is just amazing, right? Who, who ever thought, you know, hey, I'm just going to sit and be this person for the rest of my life. Imagine a three-year-old saying, I'm done growing. And their mind stays at three years old. Uh, how many of us know those people that throw tantrums and are upset and they say, I'm just, I'm not going to deal with it. Well, that is definitely the opposite of growth mindset. That's the opposite of what it is that I think so many of us strive to be. So many of us that want healing, that want to see change in the world. Without us growing, then where's the change? Is there any? I was talking to a client just today, actually, and it really sparked that idea. She said, oh, people just call me so sensitive. They say I'm too sensitive. And I thought, no, honey, you are exactly the right sensitivity. If you look at the world around you, do they have enough sensitivity or are they lacking in it? If we think about the world right now, is there enough sensitivity? Maybe our sensitivity is actually telling us we need to grow. We need to change. We need to evolve past that barbaric thought that hurting others is okay for our own benefit. That's growth. Me sitting here saying, I'm going to lie to these people so that they think that there's hope and there's not. Would that be very insensitive of me? I think it would be, right? I am very, very grateful for all of the people that teach me about growth. I learn from it in books. I search for the truth. And inside me, every single time that something resonates with me and that teaches me, hey, there's a better way, I just th say thank you. Thank you so much for teaching me something different, something new, something that I never even imagined. When I was a kid, I didn't imagine that life was easy. 
I thought life was always going to be hard, that it was going to be a struggle, that I had to suffer, that I deserved to be hit. That, if I would have kept in that mindset, I wouldn't have grown. I wouldn't have been able to find this amazing life where I get to influence and change and impact each and every one of you watching here today. So what are you going to do to grow today, tomorrow, the next day? What are you going to set out to learn? What are you going to say, hey, this is worth my time. This is worth the effort. I don't have to suffer. Some things might hurt. Yeah. Growth is challenge. Challenge sometimes hurts. Uh, one of my favorite quotes is, failure is success in progress. It's on my wall, actually. I had to read it. <laughs> I read it and I have it up there for when life is hard. When I am really sad, when I'm really down. And when I'm struggling through things and I'm like, what's happening? I'm hitting a wall. What can I do to improve this moment? Every single failure, which I don't even like to call it a failure, it's success in progress. If I slipped and fell today, does it mean that I have to sit there and lay there for the rest of my life? No. I want to grow. I want to heal. I want to evolve. And today, I want to challenge you to do the same. What book are you going to read that will make you feel lit up with that passion that only you have, right? What are you going to look at? What are you going to fill your mind with? What are you going to fill your heart with? What are the words that are going to come out of your mouth that is going to be a positive impact on the world around you? I hope that today you learn a little bit more about growth mindset. You set your intention to say, I'm not going to just sit here and take it. I am going to change. I'm going to find my passion. I'm going to find what lights me up inside and I'm going to nurture that flame. I'm going to give it the air it needs to build, to grow to become that fiery campfire that we all love to sit around, or at least I do. <laughs> well, I hope that today you really think about what growth mindset is, how it helps, how you have it, how you've progressed in your life. What kind of things has growth mindset impacted you to do? And maybe how is the lack of growth mindset possibly holding you back? Something to think about, right? I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Erica with Aurora Heart Healing. I love you all. I wish that all of you have an amazing, wonderful day. And that your passion is that little spark that changes the world and changes the life of one person, two person two people <laughs> or three who knows you will never know unless you grow and change and try